10 Interesting Facts About Symbiosis and Unlikely Friendships Between Animals and Plants. Antarctic apartment sharing. Did you know that certain ant species practically run boarding houses for caterpillars? It's true. The caterpillars of some butterfly species secrete a sugary substance that ants are absolutely bonkers for. So, the ants provide the caterpillars with protection from predators, like tiny, six-legged bodyguards. The caterpillars get a safe haven and the ants get a sweet treat. Sounds like a good deal to me. It's all about mutual support and benefits and working for a better outcome for all involved. Imagine your apartment building had its own private ant protection squad. Pretty cool, huh? Ants that enslave aphids. But it's complicated. Hold on to your hats for this one. Ants love sugar, and aphids produce a sugary liquid called honeydew. So, ants farm aphids, protecting them from predators, like ladybugs, and moving them to the best plants to feed on. The aphids basically become living lollipops for the ants. It sounds like a sweet deal, for the ants at least. But if the aphids don't give up enough honeydew, the ants might persuade them a little more aggressively. It's a sugary sweet, but slightly awkward relationship. Who knew farming could happen with insects? The yucca and the moth, a floral fairy tale. The yucca plant and the yucca moth. This friendship story is a tale as old as time. The yucca moth is the only insect that pollinates the yucca plant. In return, the yucca plant provides a safe place for the moth to lay its eggs and the developing moth larvae feed on some of the yucca seeds. It's a delicate dance of give and take, where each species depends entirely on the other for survival. Without the moth, the yucca can't reproduce, and without the yucca, the moth would have nowhere to live. It's a floral fairy tale of mutual dependence. Plants that hire bodyguards. Certain plants, like acacia trees, have a clever trick. They provide shelter and food for ants in exchange for protection. The ants live inside the tree's thorns and are ready to defend it from hungry herbivores. If an animal starts munching on the leaves, the ants swarm out and deliver painful bites and stings. It's like having a tiny, dedicated army protecting your lunch. Talk about a win-win. Who needs security guards when you have your own personal insect army? Oxpecker's rhinos, a feathered cleaning crew. Imagine having itchy skin all day long. Enter the oxpecker. These birds hang out on the backs of rhinos and other animals, happily gobbling up ticks and other parasites. The rhino gets a free pest control service and the oxpecker gets a yummy meal. Plus, the oxpeckers often act as an early warning system, screeching loudly if they sense danger, alerting the rhino to potential predators. It's a feathery win-win. What a wonderful symbiosis. Who needs a security guard when you have a bird that squawks? The badger and the coyote, BFs of the prairie. Hold on to your hats, folks, because this is a buddy cop movie waiting to happen. The American badger and the coyote, these two seemingly opposite creatures, known for living in similar spaces on the prairie, actually hunt together. The badger, with its digging skills, can unearth burrowing rodents. Then the coyote, with its speed and agility, can chase down anything that escapes. Its teamwork makes the dream work in the grasslands of North America. They increase hunting success in their hunt. They're living proof that even the wildest creatures can form partnerships when yummy snacks are on the line. They could even write a book about teamwork. Cleaner fish and sharks, a dental delight. Imagine a tiny fish brave enough to swim inside. The mouth of a shark, that's the life of a cleaner fish. These little guys set up cleaning stations on coral reefs where larger fish, including sharks, 
come to get rid of parasites and dead skin. The cleaner fish gets a tasty meal, and the shark gets a sparkling clean smile. Talk about a brave dentist. This mutually beneficial cleaning service keeps both the cleaner fish well-fed and the big boys healthy. A truly unique relationship between predator and prey. You have to admire those tiny fish. Crab Tivating Condo. Picture this, a hermit crab always searching for a swanky new shell. They're basically tiny ocean real estate moguls. But guess what? They often team up with sea anemones, those flowery looking stinging fellas. The anemone gets a ride, munching on tasty scraps left by the crab. In return, it provides the crab with some serious bodyguard services, thanks to its stinging tentacles deterring predators. It's like having a built-in all-natural security system for your mobile home. Talk about a win-win in the deep blue sea. What a funky partnership, where defense and dining become intertwined in a crab's underwater adventures. Gobies and shrimps, the odd couple of the reef, dive into the ocean and witness one of the cutest collaborations ever, the goby fish and the pistol shrimp. The shrimp is a master builder, digging and maintaining a burrow in the sand. But its eyesight, not so great. That's where the goby comes in. The goby acts as a tiny security guard, perched near the burrow entrance, warning the shrimp of any danger. The shrimp then allows the goby to share the burrow for safety. It's an underwater buddy system built on trust and shared living space. Talk about an unusual partnership. They are inseparable. The gut microbiome, your tiny, helpful buddies. Inside your tummy lives a whole city of bacteria, fungi, and other microbes. It's your gut microbiome. These tiny guys help you digest food, boost your immune system, and even affect your mood. They break down foods your body can't handle on its own, and they fight off bad bacteria that try to make you sick. It's a total team effort, and you supply the food and shelter. Taking care of your microbiome with healthy food is like giving your best buds a tasty treat. Who knew you had so many friends living inside you?